recently received this gift in the ministry post office box and uh, something a brother sent and I'm going to read it and leave some personal details out here um, but uh, here's the letter dear brother Brian I'm writing this letter to tell you how grateful I am to have learned from you and that you recovered me from the lies and doctrines of devils from many so-called YouTube pastors such as Stephen Anderson as I am <laughs> amen uh, Gene Kim Robert Faker again I like that one and the list goes on and on. I like how he spelled it, in other words. And uh, so to show my loyalty to your sound ministry, I saw this plaque and I thought it was a perfect statement of Scripture that sums up how I feel about you since I have grown in sound doctrine since I was saved on Saturday, December 5th, 2015. I'm sure I speak for all the brethren when I say thank you and you have been a blessing over the years. I don't mind if you use my YouTube name. Has it there? I'm not going to. But uh, if you decide to share this on a video... It would actually be an honor to hear you read this plaque and tell everyone how thankful I am to your ministry. I thought this would be a perfect gift for your new ministry and you could hang it on the wall. I pray that you will find a ministry headquarters soon. And I guess to skip a little bit of the stuff here. Um, he says that, uh, that he's disabled with a stage 3 bone disease. and uh, So please pray for him with that. Um, you know, and I, I would say definitely look into natural cures for the thing of the your bone disease there. Um, I honestly, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still a student with all that stuff, so I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, learn it. Uh, thank you, brother. I'm praying for you always. God bless you. Um, so, right there is the letter, and I will show the thing that he sent here. So, it's all set a store there. Okay, it says, We continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 1 3. Well, um, thank you. I really do appreciate the thought. Uh, and I, I'm honored, very, very honored by that. But uh, unfortunately, I've done this kind of thing myself, so please take this the right way. But that's not the King James Bible. Let's look at the actual scripture, what it says. I've done this kind of thing, or you know, you see some lovely looking scripture and you think, wow, that's really neat. Probably it really sums up what I was trying to, what I'm thinking or wanting to say, or whatever. And then you look it up and you say, oh my word, it's not even what the, the Bible says. Let's look up the verse, what it actually says here. Second, or excuse me, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. King James Bible says, Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and in, in the sight of God and our Father. So um, they got it all mixed up there, you know. But just a work of faith, your work produced by faith. Um, and labor of love, your labor prompted by love. Um, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, in the sight of God and our Father. Yeah, you know, God and our Father is, is it's just God and Father. So, um, I might rewrite it or something and put it in there, you know. Be kind of good to do. Uh, this 1990 by Linda Boswell is down on the bottom of the thing there. I won't zoom in on that, but um, probably I'll take this thing apart and I'll actually, you know, probably redo this. Maybe I could white this out or something or whatever else and put the actual scripture in there. But I do appreciate that very, very much. Um, I do. But just, just how the devil will work so subtly with these new versions. And he'll put something in there like that and you think, wow, that's great. But brethren, you got to go back to the King James Bible and you got to check it. And um, I, I know that uh, there's another one, and I think it's Jeremiah or something like that. And it says, you know, I know the plans I have towards you. That's not what the King James Bible says. It's or the plans I have for you. The King James Bible says something like, I know the thoughts I think toward you. You know, and you know, you you just you sound oh, I, I know, he knows the plans he has for me. It's not what the Bible says. The thoughts he thinks towards you. You know, if I have that correct, I'm just saying that from memory. Um. 
these new versions are designed to sound very appealing. And so I understand, brother, why you would have sent that. And like I said, I'm honored by that. But you always have to check things out with your King James Bible and say, does this line up with the scriptures? And, you, and it doesn't. And you go, oh, man, <laughs> you know, nuts. I can't get that thing. Um, you know, I've, I remember there was a, a video being circulated around years ago about this. Um, it was like a, they were trying to make it look what the rapture was going to be like and whatever. And these people were in this big church and all of a sudden the guy says, it, you know, it could, the rapture could happen any time. And he said, it could even happen. And it goes, bam, and, and he, they all disappear. And there's a couple people that are left behind. And they were trying, to, they wanted me to, to show it in this church thing that I was going to, Liberty Baptist Church years ago. And at the end, they show NIV scriptures. And so I went in video editing and I cut the NIV scriptures out and I put King James scriptures in, you know. And But, you know, it's just so tempting to just go, well, okay. Uh, it's not the King James, but we'll just, you know. But uh, God's Word is very important. So, um, again, just to say, please check everything out with Scripture, brethren. Uh, the devil can trick you so easily, and I've had it happen to me. Um, just wanted to, to put this video out there. Thank you, brother, very much for what you sent. Thank you for your kind words of encouragement, and we will definitely keep it, and I'll probably rewrite it or something, you know. Um, but I very much appreciate the thought behind the gift. Okay, that's going to be it. Thank you to everybody out there, friends of the ministry, for your support of this ministry. Thank you for your prayers, and uh, look forward to more videos in the future. Thank you for watching.